Hi, my name is Ben from Wi-Fi Guys, and today I'm going to be uh, opening a 5 gig titanium variable sector uh, from Ubiquity, uh, part number AMV5G-TI. Um, so here it is in its box. Uh, so titanium, um, great uh, for RF shielding and for uh, especially with um, co-location sites deployments. So open the box and you get uh, instructions showing you what to do. Uh, but we'll go straight for the antenna. So uh, here it is. Um, very cute and small obviously for 5 gig frequency which is smaller than your 2 gig or your 900 megs um, and straight away uh, you can see we've got adjustable or loosen the screws up at the top um, and the bottom so we'll be able to um, swing that in and out uh, we have a, uh, a level on the back and uh, your two uh, antenna Connectors, uh, vertical and horizontal, your mounting plate uh, for your radio, which fits ubiquity. Um, and that's about it in a nutshell as far as the antenna itself goes. Um, we've got, there we go, a cover, which is nice to see. So once we fit the radio, we'll have uh, got a, a prism here, rocket uh, AC prism, and I'm going to be doing some testing with this. Um, so I'll fit this on here as well. But to see yes, this cover, so it just fits, uh, yeah, slides over the top. And um, yeah, keep all most of the nasty weather out anyway. Obviously, a bit of rain splash underneath, but keeps the majority of stuff going. From the connectors, and further inside, we have our uh, brackets and coaxial cable. As you can see, I won't uh, bore you with the assembly of it, uh, or uh, possibly speed that process up anyway. Um, and here's our pigtails. So you see they're quite small, so you don't lose a lot of RF in them. You normally lose a dB for each connector, so um, as I say, a minimum of two, probably two and a half dB loss just with those connectors alone. Um, yeah, I'll. Assemble this um, and see how it looks. So we've got our large bracket up the top because that'll give us more down tilt. Um, obviously, we wanted to tilt it upwards, uh, up to a mountain top or uh, or a building. Then we'd mount um, the long frame at the bottom to give us the uh, up tilt. But so this is going on a uh, a small hill and pointing out over the country. Okay, so that's the four nuts tightened up with the adjustable crescent, which isn't the best device to be an up with. The uh, other tools from a tool bag in the trap. Um, right, so next we'll put on these, which look fairly straightforward. these bolts, small bolts, just screw straight in so you don't have to um, hold a nut, it's already built into the bracket which 
which makes that assembly a lot easier. Now it looks like I need to mount this up the other way and it upside down. Yeah, like that. And have I got the wrong one? Is it different? It look different. But oh, I've got this mounted upside down, that's why. Okay, shows my experience in these things. Having not put one together. So I've um, used a lot of Microtech uh, products over the past 12, 15 years. And um, this is the first um, AC, well uh, not first AC, sorry, first ubiquity um, access point I'll be deploying rather than using the Microtech. Right, looks like a bit of um, no, one's end is okay. Okay, so back to these again. That looks better. The pole fit in. Nicely. And the top bracket also will do now as well. So the uh, titanium shielding. Uh, say um, is just really uh, a must these days for uh, high density, especially uh, Wi-Fi uh, deployments. Uh, a lot of noise. Uh, some sites will have a lot of radios on them, and uh, you've just got to do everything you can to uh, try and minimise the noise. bolts to go and it'll be the bracket all connected mounting system and so you possibly want to do this as you're putting it on the pole and what I'm doing right now but uh, for video purposes so there goes our um, titanium antenna sector I'll grab a uh, Allen key. And uh, see if I can open that up. Yep. So I'll just loosen the Allen key off at the top and also the bottom. And these here must need to be screwed a little bit more. Yeah, was, ah, yes, I see. You got to unscrew the uh, Allen uh, screws. So they come out of their notches, and so they can um, put little wee tiny notches in there to, to, to go at your uh, 60, 60, 90, and 120 angle there. Uh, so the gain on the variable antenna is quite impressive. Um, for a uh, 120 degree beam width, um, is 19 dB and then on your 90 uh, degree beam width you've got uh, 20 dB and then on 60 degree beam width you have 21 dB which is uh, say, pretty impressive for a sector antenna. 
Um, that's about it on the antenna. So I'll um, mount, say, a radio to it now and see how that goes. Okay, so uh, Rocket AC uh, with a Prism chipset. Just so you got a filter on the receive side of things. Um, and do believe they're coming out with another radio which is going to have a filter on the transmit as well. So keep an eye out for those. So this here will just uh, lock into the back. Like so. And then there we go. And I can take these protected caps off the uh, reverse SMA sockets. And I'll uh, put these on. So I won't be putting any coaxial sealant tape on, but that would be a standard practice. Obviously, if uh, for installation outdoors, always install your uh, sealant on your tape. Uh, sealant tape on your uh, connectors. You just got to keep the moisture out of these um, RF connectors, otherwise your signal just turns to poos and makes you frustrated and spend a lot of time and energy trying to work out what's going on and money. Okay, so there you goes uh, our AC rocket mounted on the back and all fits nice and tight and snug and then I'll get our uh, protective cap and um, there you go and it should just go on without any complications by the looks of it yep that just slides on and uh, voila ready to uh, configure and deploy on a pole. Okay, just bench testing them so we've got them fairly close to each other which will overload them a bit so it'll be interesting to see a poor performance comparison on uh, in the real field. Okay, you can see the graph there when I was moving the antenna around how it was perfecting the theoretical uh, throughput. And so just on the bench, our uh, constellation diagrams are both uh, clean, um, but again, interesting to compare once out in the field. Okay, let's try the built in speed test between the two radios. And we have uh, average of uh, around 140 megs um, uh, full duplex, which is giving us a total of 180, 190 megabits per second, so just sitting next to each other on the floor.